Hello everyone. This video tutorial is for separation of twin components in a non mirohedral twin using Chris Ellis Pro software. And here I am using the version 171.41.120A of Chris Ellis Pro. Uh, but before going to the demonstration part, let's have some basic idea about a non mirohedral twin. First of all, what is twinning? Uh, twin crystal have two or more intergrown crystals. These crystals share some lattice points, apparently adding symmetry to the lattice. For example, this diagram is showing the uh, twin components, twin domain 1 and twin domain 2. Uh, then what is a non-mirohedral non twin? They have same unit cell. For example, this is one unit cell. If you rotate this unit cell by uh, 180 degree, then you will get this unit cell. And in overall, we have this type of unit cell in a twin crystal. In the reciprocal space, have partially overlapped diffraction pattern. So non mirohedral twins have partially overlapped diffraction pattern. In mirohedral twin, the diffraction pattern is complete, completely overlapped. So it cannot be handled at the integration part, but we can handle the non mirohedral twin during the data integration. This is component 1 or domain 1 having certain reflection. Then this is component number 2 showing in different color and then overall it will look like this. Some uh, uh, reflection are overlapping partially. Intertwined, intertwined rows of reflection are partially overlapped. So in non mirrorhedral twin the reflection are partially overlapped but in mirrorhedral twin they are completely overlapped. So let's go to the uh, demonstration part how to separate the twin components. So let's start the Chrysalis Pro first. Just double click on this icon and it will open up the window like this. Here you can see the interface of the Chrysalis Pro. Now what you have to do? Press this button Lattice Wizard. And you will see a number of options. So first go to the this tab peak hunting. The data has collected in six images, sorry, uh, six run. There are total six run, and each run has some uh, 200 to 400 images. It will go through all the six runs and all the images run 3 is in progress then run 4 run 5 and run 6 i am doing it in real time so you can see the each and every run So it's done. Okay, the next step is then unit cell finding. Press this tab and it will find some unit cell. Okay, if you look at the cell parameter, the cell parameter are 4, 7, 8, 90, 98, 90. And here you can see 4, 7, 8 showing some monoclinic P lattice but the indexation is very low only uh, some 16 percent indexation are there so what you have to do press this button refine instrument model 
the indexation is around 21%, 22%. So you can see it's not improving. It's going up to 22% from 16 to 22%. So no, it's not a good indexation. So this is probably due to the uh, twinning. The indexation, low indexation is maybe one reason of twinning. So let's go to the evolved reciprocal space. Just press here and you will see the okay so if i look along the c axis b axis or a axis so the unit cell is definitely wrong it's not the correct unit cell and it's also showing some 22000 wrong reflection and here you can see the histogram is not good so what you have to do go to lattice and auto unit cell finding in swan peaks okay now you can see the histogram is improved and the new cell with cell parameters 7 8 and 26 and 19 96 and some 89 indexation is 73 percent which not 100 percent if you look along the c axis b axis and a axis so now some reflection are not in fitting into the cell like this these are in between the uh, lattice points so there are some wrong reflection are there wrong reflection means unindexed reflection so what you have to do go to the this tab activate twin multi crystal press it and you will find a uh, number of options like automatic twin finding custom twin uh, custom twin multi crystal finding and so on so i am using the first one so which uh, 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 which option i will use it depend upon the uh, type of problem so let's first try with the first one automatic twin finding it will find the next component okay so there is some results okay first go to here uh, some 73 4 percent with the first domain 17 approximately 18 with the percent with the second domain and 9 percent are still unindexed so you can see the two twin domain are related by a rotation of approximately 180 degree around this in the uh, reciprocal space and 100 in the direct space so what you have to do now there are still two five one seven wrong reflection if i remove this wrong reflection and close it and then go to the evolved explorer explorer space and press this little arrow you will find option p table flag and go ahead delete skip yes okay then again go to the evolved explorer and you will find some 75 five wrong reflection okay remove them and repeat the same step delete skip yes again go to the evolved explorer uh, 25 okay remove these close again repeat the same step delete skip yes only four are left okay i have to remove them also delete skip yes okay now you can see there is no wrong reflection all the reflection are indexed some 15000 are reflection are indexed with twin component number one ub1 uh, 5092 reflection are indexed with UB2 twin component number 2 and 5725 are overlapped which are common between the UB1 and UB2 okay if I see along the C axis you can see the reflection now you can see each reflection is on the lattice point along the B yes here you can see the two uh, twin component twin unit cells 
in different color one is uh, twin component one number in yellow color and twin component number two in the uh, blue color so along the b axis you can see nicely the two uh, domain and then a star okay a star b star and c star so the universal parameter are 7.37 8.44 8.44 and 26.37 and the okay then cell angle 89 approximately 90 96 and 90 the cell volume is 1632.9 and 1634.9 so there is a very small uh, variation in the unit cell within standard uncertainties so the twin component have the same unit cell if they do not have the same unit cell they are not twin they are just mm, bad crystals so now you can see the unindexed are zero percent so you have indexed all the reflection so 86 80.6 percent are in the first domain and 19.4 on the second domain and these domain are uh, related to each other by a rotation of 180 degree okay uh, if you want to see the uh, domain in different color then you what have to do okay first i have to do i remove this one i uh, remove this one okay so i have removed all these so there is no reflection so first i uh, press uv2 or uv2 and overlap and uv1 now you can see all the three type of reflection so just uh, separate them for the sake of clarity what i have to do uh, i have to unselect uv2 and go to the option filter and here move hidden to group 2 hidden is uv2 move hidden to group 2 okay it's not moving no problem uh, then what you have to do hide the then move visible to group 2 visible is uv2 group 2 move visible to group 2 okay it's move to group 2 now it is in uh, blue color then this one overlap move visible to group 3 group 3 so i have now three groups group 1 group 2 and group 3 okay so first i have to show group 1 okay group 1 so this is twin component number one these are reflection from twin component number one along the c axis along the b axis along the a axis so along the c axis these are the uh, reflection from twin component number one okay if i have to show reflection from twin component number two okay so these are the twin component number two shown in the blue color along the different axis you can see okay so this is twin component number two this is twin component number one this is twin component number one this is twin component number two if simultaneously both the component you can see both the component like this along the c axis along the b axis you can see some reflection are from twin component number one yellow and from twin component number two blue okay then from the overlap reflection so these are the overlap reflection so in three different color the yellow is domain one the blue is domain two and the red are from the overlapping so along the c axis along the b axis along the a axis so you can see every fourth low, row is overlapping first first second third fourth first second third fourth first second third and fourth these are the only overlapping reflection these are the only reflection from twin component number two these are the reflection from twin component number one so from one and two these are from 1 and 2, 
these are from 1 and overlapping these are from 2 and overlapping so you can see the reflection in different color so what i have to do now this is one so again so these are hidden the overlapping move hidden to group one then again move hidden to group one move visible to group 1 and then again move visible to group 1 now again we are in the only same group component number 1 component number 2 and component number 3 so all are in the same color so you can see in the same group all the th three uh, group of selection or you can separate them with different color for the better visualization Okay, so uh, the separation part is completed here. So go to the crystal part and then close this one. Okay, now you can see the cell is 7, 8 and 26. And there are twin information here. The twin component 1 is the cell parameter. This is the volume and this is the volume of the second. And then total there are uh, some 21,000 type uh, reflection separated are 15,000 for twin 1 and separated are 5092 for the twin component number 2 and these are the some overlap reflection. Okay, so here the two component are uh, separated. Now you can do the process of integration in the same way first close and then you can press start stop and data reduction with option and there is generation of two files at scale of 4 and at scale of 5 instead of at scale of 4 1 only file in the routine uh, data integration but in twin data integration you will get two files two reflection files two at scale files at scale of 4 and at scale of 5 at scale 4 from the for the solution purpose and at scale of at scale of 5 is have two uh, all the domain here two domain so two domain so merged file HKL file is a merged file and HKL4 file is HKL4 file is unmerged file. So now with the HKL4 you can do the refinement and in the final step uh, just use the HKL file to complete the refinement. I am not uh, going to do the refinement otherwise the length of the video will become uh, too large. If you have any question regarding the separation you can have at any time and thanks for watching the video.